Good morning, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf for Golf WRX at the wonderful Royal Quebec Golf Club. And uh, this morning we're talking about why you're hanging back and what causes that. And so let's look at a couple of other sports right now, like uh, baseball. So let's say you're playing baseball and you're waiting for the pitch. If a pitch is really nice to you, you're never going to hang back because you're focused on where you want that pitch to go. So let's say you're going into right field and you're going to hit that home run into right field. So you see the pitch that you like, you always move forward into it and you typically never hang back unless it's a pitch that's throwing you off balance and you know, you're, you're stuck in a corner. So if the pitch is throwing you off balance and you know, you gotta, you gotta reach back for it, then that's typically where you're gonna hang back. Only if you're reacting to something that's not, that's not fitting what you want. Same thing in tennis. If that ball is in and you got no choice and you know, there's a, there's a, a, a hang back involved versus you're in position and you're just gonna hammer that tennis ball in the direction that you want it to go. Very big difference. So in golf, we don't have to put up with any of that stuff, do we? So there's basically two different reasons why you're hanging back. Number one, for the beginner who's trying to lift the ball in the air and they don't have a concept of how this tool works, well, they're looking down at the ball and they're thinking, I gotta get the, the ball up and help the ball up. So they'll typically slide and sway to the side to get behind it. And then they're gonna try and scoop the ball in the air therefore hanging back. And the other one is the one that's actually moving properly in the swing, but they get too far ahead of the ball. So let's say I have two tees here and I want to uh, swing through both tees. So observe how the sole of the club is going to stay. See how I'm going to be catching this tee, then the club's going to stay along the grass and catch the second tee. So observe the blur of that club. See that? So I'm able to get through both tees. Now, you put a ball there and all of a sudden somebody's trying to hit the ball. So let's, let's look at what happens now. So let me put the ball right up, actually right next to the tees here. So I get to the top of the swing and then I go, ball. Well, notice now the center of my swing. So if you want to see center of swing, if I had one arm and I was swinging with one arm, you can see that the center of that swing is the shoulder. I bring both arms together to take my grip. The center of the arm swing is right here between the two clavicles called the sternal notch. So my sternal notch is in a really good position right now behind, uh, you know, behind the hit. Gather. Now I'm defaulting to the ball. Ball. Now look where my center is. My center is now way too far in front. So I'm actually in a position where I'm going to miss the ball entirely and I'm only catching the second tee. See what happens? So now I'm out in front. I got to scramble to throw myself back. So you're going to see a few swings like this on the range where the head is tipping forward and then the head's tipping back. And that's basically throwing you backwards causing you to hang back and have that sensation of hanging back and you're wondering why you're not finishing the swing. And the more you try to move forward, the worse it's going to get, isn't it? Because now the more you throw yourself out in front, the more you're going to have to hang back. So it may be okay when there's no ball, so you have to be aware of where that club is passing. So if I do this, oh, nice swing. I finished my swing. Everything's beautiful. And then you go to the ball and you go, whoa, that's not going to work. Gosh darn, I got to get back behind it. Now you're throwing yourself backwards to save the shot, just like that tennis player or that baseball player that's out of position and scrambling to get the ball in play. So what's the, what's the, you know, the um, recipe for this? Put two T's on the ground. Um, I had one of my, uh, my students who is a beginner this year, and we just happened to make it out on the golf course together, 
and he was really struggling. I mean, you know, obviously he's nervous because he's with me and he's trying to do, he's trying to show me how much work that he's done and, and how, how much he's improved. And uh, I could see that, you know, he was all over the place. So we just took two T's and put them in the ground. So I put, you know, you stick two T's flush to the ground and you put the ball on the first T, right? And then you're just going to focus on moving through both T's. So I had him clip through both T's with the sole of the club. Then I put a ball on the first T and I said, clip through the, both T's again. So with both T's there, he can't move back anymore because he can't get to the second T. He can't move forward anymore because he can't get to the first T. So now he's staying wonderfully centered to have both T's in the way. This two T drill is going to give you a lot of centeredness, it's going to calm that center and it's going to allow you to move through the ball and towards the target. Now here's the through the ball part. For those of you who are hanging back because you think you need to do something with contact, this is your best friend right here. So you go to a local hardware store or you go to my website and you get one of these grass whips. And it is a grass cutting tool. So you set up to the grass and you cut some grass. So if the sole of the club cuts through the grass, you notice where my, my ball on a tee is. So if I cut through the stem of this dandelion, this is a dandelion in disguise, the ball is obviously just going to fall to the ground. There it is. So I'm just cutting through the stem with this grass whip. When the brain sees something to cut through, cutting through the stem, it sees continuity. So when I'm cutting through stuff, there's always a full swing involved. There's always a full finish involved. So when you had this one arm swing, there's my lawnmower. If I cut through this next T, there it is. Did I stop? No, the lawnmower keeps going and then it keeps going through the next section of grass. Same thing. I got my big circle cutting through, cutting through. So then you get the sensation of a throughward cut. So if we put, and this is a fun drill right here, if I put two balls down, see that? I'm going to space them out about four to six inches apart. And I'm going to take my pitching wedge, give me a little bit of uh, a little bit of loft so the first ball can fly over the second ball. So I see two T's in my mind to cut through. You see that? So I need to feel that both are in my wheelhouse. So what it's going to look like to you from here, <clears throat> I could probably, yeah, nobody on the range over there. So we'll do a nice smooth little pitching shot in that direction. So Let's back that up a bit more. I don't want to hit the bag. There we go. Okay. So, see the blur of my club? It has access through both tees. And I'm just going to cut through both dandelion stems. Both golf shots are in the air. One of them is a little bit further than the other. So, look at it down the line right now. Here we go. So I see both tees to cut. See how the first shot is nice and straight. Second shot's a little bit to the left. So the first shot is going full distance. Second shot obviously is not going, it's about going half the distance and a little bit to the left because my club is moving in its arc as it's getting to that second ball. So have a look at my uh, two ball drill revisited video, you know, and really enjoy that. Have a look at my grass whip training video. I got 30 minutes of full training with that grass whip and it's such an important tool for you to get so that you understand. And then you'll see a, another video of mine called early extension, Sean Clement. Have a look at that one and that's, you'll see the two T drill in there because when you're staying with 
both T's, you're not going to early extend, are you? Okay? So enjoy that video. And uh, of course, this we have in spades on our premium channel, only $5 a month. And, and you know, you could see the value that we have and the knowledge that we have to get you through the ball. And that's our specialty. Making this an intersection on the way out to the target, the real targets out there, this can't ever be the target, okay? We'll see you in the next one.